During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state why bricks should be blended on site and list methods of doing this. State why the colour of mortar can have an effect on the colour of the bricks. List five things that can affect consistency in the colour of mortar. Blending bricks on site. Bricks should be loaded out from a minimum of three packs and drawn from the pack in vertical slices. This is to prevent colour patches or banding in the building. Loading bays on scaffolding should be large enough for at least three or four packs. Blending should take place between loads of bricks as well as between packs, especially if loads are from different manufacturing batches. Moulded bricks should be laid so that they smile. Extruded workup bricks should be laid in the same orientation. Colour of mortar joints. About one fifth of the surface area of brickwork consists of the mortar joints. As a result, the mortar colour can profoundly affect the colour of the brickwork. Used deliberately, changes of mortar joint colour can enhance brickwork, as seen opposite. This wall is built with the exact same colour bricks. The only thing that's different is that in certain sections uh, we've used different coloured mortar to give this effect. Here's another example of using different coloured mortar to give a different effect. We can see the bricks are the exact same colour, but by using the different coloured mortar, it does give the appearance that the bricks are different colours. Consistency in the colour of mortar depends on the following. 1. The colour of the cements and sand being used. 2. The amount of water used. 3. Whether or not lime is used. 4. The proportions in which these materials are batched or mixed at. And 5. The extent of tooling of a joint which brings out the lengthens to the surface or the fat to the surface of the joint. This can affect the colour. Also materials should always be obtained from the same source. They should be pr protected on site from mud, dirt, oil and other building materials. Never add anything which might affect the colour of the mortar. Mortar must be mixed in a consistent way, whether by hand or machine, in order to avoid colour variations. Conclusion Bricks should be blended to prevent colour patches or banding, and should be loaded out from a minimum of three packs and drawn from the pack in vertical slices. About one fifth of the surface area of brickwork consists of the mortar joints, so this can affect the overall colour of the bricks. The colour of mortar can be affected by 1. The cement and sand used 2. The amount of water used 3. Whether or not lime is used 4. The proportion these materials are batched at and five, the extent of tooling of the joint, which brings out the latents to the surface.